Gravelcraft has redefined the creation of rubber stamps to respond efficiently to the changing needs of the stamp maker. That is why GraviStyle has different creation methods, from the wizard to the free creation method, allowing us to create all kinds of stamps from simple to complex. GraviStyle provides a function to nest stamps on our worksheet. This allows you to optimize material usage and therefore waste less material and save on mass production. Let's create our first stamp using the wizard. Click the stamp button to begin. First we pick our desired font, then we enter our text and click next. We choose the desired support design and our support size. This drop down list has been loaded with commonly used sizes. You can save your sizes for quick recall in the future. Once selected, the text automatically adjusts. Now we choose a preferred cutting and engraving design. We select the merge box for this example because it's specifically optimized for stamps. This lessens the amount of rubber that touches the ink and brings the cut very close to the actual shape. Now we adjust the offset, which controls the gap, and we also adjust the cutting bridge, which allows easy handling of the stamp. Click Finish. The stamp has been automatically added to the Worksheet tab. Now let's create another stamp, this time using a logo. First we will go to the Symbols library to locate the logo. Select the one you want and add it to the workspace. The wizard also gives you the possibility to create stamps from a vector file or bitmap. Open the stamp wizard and your logo is automatically resized relative to the support. We can then further adjust our support, cutting design, offset, and bridge. The stamp is generated automatically and nested onto our worksheet. It is also possible to create stamps without using the wizard. We call this the free creation method. We can choose our form of support and the size of the composition relative to the support. Here is an example of a stamp with checkboxes. We must materialize the support, then we click on the stamp wizard while selecting the control key, and the stamp is generated automatically and nested on our worksheet. Here is another example of creating a stamp without using the wizard. First, select your text tool and add your desired text, and then materialize the pre-formatted shape and support. Then we click on the stamp wizard while selecting the control key and the stamp is generated automatically and nested on our worksheet. We can also start from pre-made support models. The symbols library contains some templates. Select the template you want and add it to the workspace. Enter your text. Then we click on the stamp wizard with the control key. The stamp is generated automatically and nested on our worksheet. For generic stamps, Gravistyle gives us the ability to create multiple copies at once. We first create the stamp by adding text and materializing the stamp. We duplicate it to the desired specifications. Once complete, we click on the stamp wizard with the control key. The stamps are then generated and automatically nested on our worksheet. Once our series of stamps are created, we can check our worksheet. We can see that the material is not engraved between the stamps to minimize smoke production. Now we want to freeze the stamps position on our worksheet to allow us to reuse the material offcut once it has been engraved. Finally, we can send it to the machine by selecting the predefined engraving settings for rubber material. The preview button allows one final double check before sending everything to the laser. For more questions about engraving rubber stamps, please contact our support department at askservice at us.gravitech.com.